what is up everybody and welcome back to another Madden 23 online game. Today we're dipping into the old challenge bucket once again. This time a suggestion from Alex to use the linebacker all game and use the player lock. Remember, we did the cornerback only challenge where we player locked with Jalen Ramsey the entire game, trying to guard the other team's top receiver. Now we're going to use her, a linebacker the entire game, going to the player lock. The linebacker I chose is Micah Parsons, which I'm sure some of you are thinking, well, you're probably going to be pass rushing all game, right? With Micah Parsons? No. We're going to use Micah Parsons as more of a middle linebacker for this game, even though Micah Parsons can definitely rush the passer, as we all know, and his superstar abilities are pretty much all based on rushing the passer. I'm just going to use that 93 speed oh so casually in the middle of the field, including fourth down and three, looking to get the stop, floating for Kittle. That's intercepted. Did someone order a hooker? But the ball is loose and picked up back by the Niners. I tried to lateral the ball to Micah Parsons, and the ball just did not go where I thought it would. But, hey, man, we got this play pretty locked up. I don't know what the play is because it's hard to tell in this player lock linebacker like this you, it's really hard to see what's going on like you know at least as an actual human being you can turn your eyes left to right as a player lock linebacker you are always staring at the quarterback even when you turn the other way you're not actually turning the other way so it's a little odd right like I, I feel like this is not natural what we're doing but it's the madden player lock camera and that's just the way it goes i i guess this is how people play their like career mode or their face of the franchise in madden right i don't really play that mode but i guess this is how you guys play it right you have to play in this camera i don't know how people do it man this is like this is boring this is odd but we're making the best of it right now or the worst of it depending on who you ask third down and 15 that is caught by gary jennings but not for the first down fourth down in inches Got a chance to make a stop here. Niners in the red zone after we gave him the extra possession. And Christian McCaffrey is going to make it count. He gets the first down and nearly the touchdown as we wind down the end of the first quarter. This guy's going no huddle. That's not good for us because he's probably just going to run it with McCaffrey again. It's going to be up to us to shoot this gap on C-Mac here. I know it. We just couldn't make the play. He went outside and... I was always trying to get that inside, but me and I think Dorrance Armstrong went to the same point, and that did not really work out. So we actually played pretty good defense, it must be said. 13-play drive or however long it took. Uh, I'm going to show you guys some offense here. We're obviously not focused on the offensive side of the ball. I'll show you guys a little bit of what we do, how we can move the ball, when we move the ball, including here to Dalton Schultz. Got Dak, Pre Dak Prescott trying to sling that rock out here. This is actually the first time we've been on offense the entire game, and we're going to capitalize with a touchdown in the corner to see the lamb so I, I made that community post the other day saying that I wasn't uh you know as you guys knew from the past videos I was putting out I was coughing a lot apparently I had bronchitis so it was really not a good idea for me to re be recording videos while I had bronchitis I <laughs> I still have a like a little bit in my system but I'm feeling a lot better today so I figured I'd get this video out like <laughs> I I can't just speak 20 minutes straight without giving you guys a call for two but i'm gonna try my damnedest out here including on defense with micah parsons shooting that gap on mccaffrey big stop there nice little user play bringing up a fourth down and three we gotta get off the field for real this time on fourth down and that's in traffic and incomplete i don't know what this guy is seeing because i can't see what he's running like i don't know what I don't know if that's maybe open or what. I'm just like, all right, man, I hope I have somebody back there once he floats it as we run a little jailbreak screen here on third down. Thank you, Michael Gallup, galloping into the end zone for the touchdown. That'll give us the lead here right before halftime. We actually milked the clock down just about perfectly. I wasn't really trying to do it, but it ended up working out that way. So now at this point, it's just don't give up one big play. I'm going to just, you know, run back, retreat, make sure George Kittle doesn't beat us. Debo maybe getting at the field goal range. I believe he gave himself up. This would be a 64-yard field goal, and Robbie Gold, I don't believe, has the like power for that. So he's just going to have to go Hail Mary with think Brock Purdy protected well that is not going to be caught by anyone and we go into halftime with a seven point lead I tried to rush the pass it there with Micah I I think you have to rush off the edge with Micah Parsons so you can get edge threat going otherwise um you know it's up to the user rush and as we guys saw from the defensive line only challenge 
I am not good at defensive rushing. It's Cavante Turpin trying to get a little sticky on this kick return. So, yeah. We're completing the trifecta on defense, right? First we did the D-line. Then we did the corner back. Now we're doing the linebacker as we get a little CD lamb going on and CD into the end zone. I guess the next challenge naturally is to player lock on, like, the running back. Or the, I don't even know if it's possible. Can you player lock on offense? If you can... Some of them might have to suggest that as one of our next challenges, and I'll try to make it happen. Player locking like the the line or uh, the wide receiver or the halfback or even the quarterback, and see what happens. I don't think you can player lock on an offensive lineman. That just that sounds miserable, man. <laughs> Second down and eleven. Brock Purdy dropping back and down low. McCaffrey with the catch, but we're all right with that. You see, uh, playing a little cover two right there, playing the middle. I've been primarily playing zone so far. I haven't really gone to man mainly because zone is working for us. So. I mean, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, right? Just going to play the middle of the field with Micah Parsons and down low to McCaffrey, but he's not able to get the first down. Four down and four. You know he's going to go for it down by 14 here. Just got to play the sticks at this point, right? You don't want to give anything too crazy, but first things first, you always got to play the sticks. So, you know, we got to watch George Kittle middle of the field for sure. Kittle working, but that clears the way for McCaffrey to get the first down. George Kittle was always a decoy on that one as McCaffrey ran the angle route out the backfield. That's the first time he, I believe, ran that the entire game, so that caught me a little off guard. Now I'm going to keep an eye out for it. Now I'm ready for it. Run that again, and I'm there. Though you can't run that out of an empty set, but you can hit George Kittle for the first down. This guy finding a little bit of a groove all of a sudden offensively here with Brock Purdy. Winded down to third quarter. Purdy dropping back once more. He's been passing a lot. And that's actually going to be a penalty on us, believe it or not. We got illegal contact. And the only reason why we got that penalty is because the camera was just zooming in on Brock Purdy as he was getting sacked. And I couldn't really see what I was doing with, I think, Gary Jennings. Is, uh, you see, I accidentally click on, just instincts made me click on to Trayvon Diggs. I made sure not to hit the triangle button to pick the ball off. Once I clicked on, I just I just slowed down and kind of committed PI. So, uh, yeah, my, my bad about that one. And instincts kicked in there for a moment, but uh, we're back on Micah Parsons for the rest of the game. Don't worry, man. Unless I, unless one of the CPUs get an, gets an interception, then, I mean, what can I do about that, right? Uh, except try to lateral the ball, I suppose, as Christian McCaffrey finds the end zone. Every time he sneaks in a run, I mean, that is exactly what I'm saying. He sneaks it in. I'm not really expecting it because he's been so pass-heavy for whatever reason. As we uh, drop back here, Dak Prescott outside. Hey, man, if he's going to go one-on-one -on -one coverage with C.D. Lamb, he's making my life pretty easy. Dak Prescott's having a great game. Three touchdown passes as we begin the fourth quarter. Another jailbreak screen. For some reason, I was just having oodles of fun running jailbreak screens to Michael Gallup this game. This guy was just <laughs> not guarding it too well. As, oh, Tony Pollard. Nice maneuverability to get into the end zone. I had Zeke in there, but Tony Pollard is... Definitely the better running back to have in Madden. He just, you know, can make those moves in the open field. Zeke just feels like he, he's like slow as molasses out there, man. Running quicksand with Zeke out there. As uh, now we just got to get one more defensive stop. We should be good. He goes in the flats here to McCaffrey. That was actually my assignment. I believe I actually came out of man coverage right there. So. Hey, man, let's see. I'm going to try to myself up on my Caffrey again. I want the challenge, right? We're going to play cover two, keep everything underneath, and try to make sure we guard Kittle and Christian McCaffrey. We actually had Trayvon Diggs on Kittle, which seems like it would be a solid matchup for us. Maybe not. We'll try it again, though. Once again, we got Diggs on Kittle, and oh, man, we were all supposed to be on McCaffrey. Keyword supposed to. But that angle route got us once again, and and I'm noticing one thing that's definitely affecting me using the, this linebacker on the player lock is my my depth perception is definitely off. As Trayvon Diggs with the interception, we go back to zone coverage. I don't think he was ready for that. Surely he wasn't if he threw that hospital ball for the interception. And speaking of hospital passes, I mean, this is just, uh, I don't, this isn't a hospital. This is just a what are you doing pass. I decided to screw around a little bit. We're going to get back on the defensive side, I suppose. I was like, let me take a shot downfield and... Uh, not getting our feet set was a costly mistake, clearly. Uh, is George Kittle even on the field? I don't think so. Is Brandon Ayuk middle? We'll make sure we keep that in bounds with Micah Parsons. Keep everything in bounds helps us out. But, I mean, at this point, really, just keep everything out the end zone. He's pretty close right now. A little play fake. Purdy stepping, throwing. Got it, Kittle. Oh, man, I don't know if that was my responsibility or not. I tried to get the other guy outside. There's, a, there's too much. There's too many people. First down to goal at the one. McCaffrey. Oh, I tried to get in there with Parsons, but 64, man, that was that was borderline illegal with 64 just did, I feel like, man. You kind of 
blindside meter a little bit, but uh, referees turn a blind eye. They only call illegal contact on us, and we're going to have to make sure we ice this game on the offensive side of the ball. Or maybe with Cabante Turpin on the kick return. Yeah, not going to happen that way. That is beneficial for my opponent, what I just did. is uh, We'll try to just get a couple of first downs here. I'll, I'll try to get back on defense if I can, but I do want to win this game. So if we get back on defense, hopefully it's by scoring. As you see, this guy's burning his timeouts. He's, I mean, he's doing what he's got to do right now. Unfortunately, it doesn't really matter. I could just kneel this game out if I so choose to. But I'm going to bounce this outside with Tony Pollard instead. Get by Hufanga and bye-bye Jason Verrett. Pollard turns on the afterburners, and we're taking this one 71 yards to the crib. I'll give him a chance to get back on defense here, but not down by seven. I, I don't trust myself enough to just punt the ball and make it that interesting. Uh, not, not with this setup, man. This is just like, I, I, I never want to do this again. Oh, man, that, that was just going for the hit stick right there. That had nothing to do with the player lock. That had nothing to do with depth perception. That was just me trying to get a kill shot in there. He hit the brakes on me, but like, go ahead. I got teammates back there. You want to throw this pass? Go ahead. You're throwing middle of the field for like a 10-yard a route? Like, I don't know if you know time and score, buddy, but like, I am giving that to you right now. As he's just trying to run, run the angle route. Sure, why not? As somebody order a hooker. Brock Purdy, watch him dance on your grave. GG's, my guy. GG's. I get one more jailbreak screen in because these were just, like I said, man, I just had great joy of running uh, jailbreak screens with uh, Michael Gallup on this day. So we end up winning the game. We got ourselves the challenge win. We're obviously going to have to hop into another game. We can't just play one game. You guys know how it goes. We won the first try. We're going to go into that second game and uh, screw around a little bit, have some fun. You guys see rank match. Always have to show these. Just, I don't know, in case anybody asks, if anybody cares, if anybody doesn't trust the fact that I'm just loading into rank matches. I feel like it's pretty obvious, but you never know, man. You never know. So we're going to hop into a game here against the Miami Dolphins and doing the player lock against the Miami Dolphins is definitely going to be interesting when you think about how to guard the Miami Dolphins you got to guard Waddle and Hill at all times I don't really know what I'm going to be able to do with Micah Parsons but we'll see I'm probably just going to have to run a lot of cover two and uh, try to do my best to make sure cover two doesn't even get burnt but on the first play this guy runs a pitch that we have contained with Micah Parsons if he wants to run with Mostert We'll just have to deal with that with Parsons and blow it up in the backfield. We are a one-man wrecking crew right now stopping this run game. As he goes no huddle, there's no way he runs the same play again, right? All right, he is. Here goes Mostert one more time as we get blocked outside. But that allows Leighton Van Der Esch to clean things up. Fourth down and four. Is he actually going to pass? Surely he has to pass here, right? Well, he's in five wide, so... Uh, yeah, he is passing, and he's picked off. Oh, man, Tua Tunga Vailoa. He's in the business of ordering a hooker as well. These NFL quarterbacks, man, they got quite the minds. As I run my favorite play in all of Madden, it is going to work for a touchdown. Galloping into the end zone. It's Michael Gallup and the Dallas Cowboys. Take a bow. You've earned it. And now we get back on the defensive side of the ball, and at this point in the game, this guy literally just came out in this same gun bunch empty quads for the rest of the game I, I and by the way man these player lock challenges if there's something that frustrates me about it whether it's d-line or linebacker or what it's that these guys these cpus have no idea how to play the ball when it's right in front of them like what is it a calvin joseph i believe it is number three like you don't want to. You don't want to pick up the ball on first down, bro. Like, you don't want to do anything with that football. You don't even want to play the receiver. You just want to stand there. Oh, Cavante Turpin is not standing. He is going, going, and gone. Oh, coast to coast goes Cavante Turpin. When you use the Dallas Cowboys, you got to take every kick out with Cavante Turpin. He is lightning in a bottle, winning the flash. And we got the lead back just like that, which is definitely what I'm looking for. I'm not trying to play offense in this game, man. I'm trying to get back on the defensive side. And by the way, like, I can't even see myself. Hello? I, I actually couldn't see where I was with Micah Parsons there. That was a little questionable. And what I realized is that, like, I have to be in the middle of the field for the camera to focus. Otherwise, like, I won't be able to see myself. I won't be able to see where I'm using, which is a little off. A little broken, Madden. 
I have questions. But I have questions about a lot of things that Madden does. Is Tua trying to escape? Oh, we got to put the heat on. Tua was trying to break that one out to his left side, his strong side. And hey, man, sometimes you just got to go to plan B, and that's what we did. Oh, but this guy's got his own plan B, a curl route to Sheffield for the touchdown, Trent Sherfield. All right, that's a good play. <laughs> you can have that one, I suppose. That was not one play that I expected. Like I said, this guy just came out of this uh, bunch of empty quads for the rest of the game. And, uh, you know, he had Hill on one side, Waddle on the other side. So we always had to keep two safeties high. And even with that, I hope those guys guard it because, you know, I'm using Mike Parsons. I can't see what's going on back there. At least I can see on the offensive end. I can see my boy Tony Pollard. And we're eventually going to get to the five-yard line. Out the two-minute warning. Up high. Down hard. Dalton Schultz for the touchdown. Alandora Roberts got in there for the poster a little late. But he got in there. He got what he wanted because I don't know what else he could have wanted with that kind of defense. So now we switch up to uh, two men under here. And you see I'm actually guarding the wide receiver. Oh, and we could have easily had a pick if linebackers weren't so neutered as far as usering linebackers. They don't get the ball hawk animations that a defensive back does. So I couldn't really jump to get that pass. Not even Micah Parsons as two is going to slide down after a big rush. Again, a 22 yards. But this man coverage is working out pretty well, so they're you know, going to try it again. That time, though, I don't know who was guarding uh, Gasecki, but they clearly didn't do a good enough job. I think I got Gasecki this time. Yeah, we do. And we'll, give, we'll have to give him a little bit of shade underneath. I, I have to play a little cautious here because like, I can't really look around. So I, I don't want to just gamble and give up a play. So. You know, if he runs a drag like this, I'll give him that kind of cushion. Like, maybe not as much as I did the first time, but that next play, we make the adjustment, right? Just got to make these small adjustments and fine-tune how we use her. And, and like I said, man, I'm just trying to get used to the depth perception of using in, in this way. It's, it's a whole different ballgame out here, that's for sure, man. I don't know if anybody's tried it, especially in an online setting, but this is weird. This is very weird. As we get the sack here on first down. I believe he just burned his second time out. So things are getting a little bit interesting. As the Dolphins trying to take the lead. Or trying to get a... Oh man! Trying to get a game time touchdown before halftime. They're not going to get it. The greatest ball hawking safety in all of the NFL. Malik Hooker does it yet again. I mean these boys got dirty minds out here. They're just ordering hookers left and right. And that was huge because defensively I feel like we are struggling a little bit so for us to have the seven point lead with this guy getting the ball to start the second half makes me feel pretty good as we just absolutely whiff on the tackle there with Micah I probably could have made the tackle if I just you know went for a die but I thought I was in hit stick range which I clearly was not oh man I tried to go in hit stick range there thankful we were able to lock on and make that tackle at the very least Micah Parsons able to run sideline to sideline with Raheem Moster and this time Moster tries to cut it inside but we are still there waiting for him anytime he runs the ball I am there and now he's not going to run the ball anymore. He's going to take away my fun, take away my, my strong suit. And now he's going to mess around a little bit and get this to Sherfield with a little motion corner. I don't even know what this route could be that he is running, but he most certainly is running it on us. So, yeah, definitely was not expecting that. And I, I, I can't see which way he's breaking. By the time he breaks, it's just like he's out of the picture. So, it's, good luck, man. So next time he does that, I'm going to make sure I'm not guarding Sherfield. I don't want any pieces of that. Oh, we had the perfect adjustment. But, I mean, these guys don't want to pick the ball up. You literally have to click on to get an interception in this game. If you don't click on, they do not pick it off. It's, it's kind of fascinating how awful the CPU is on defense when you don't click on, man. But uh, we end up giving up the touchdown. <laughs> I believe next player, two plays later, to Jalen Waddle. I mean, Waddle and Hill, they work the middle of the field. It's, it's got speed back there, man. I just got to hope they do their thing. And, oh, Gavante Turpin nearly did it again. Van Ginkel able to just keep him in check. What a move by Pollard. Shimmying, shaking Tony Pollard. He made them all look silly back there. We get all the way to the 30-yard line. We bring Zeke back in. Not going to not gonna give the ball to Zeke, man. I, I did give the ball to Zeke. The reason why you guys aren't seeing is because nothing happened. But when Pollard is in the game, special things break out Tony Pollard into the end zone shimmy shake score oh man that was some pretty nifty stick work it must be said with Tony Pollard that was pretty fun to do 
Now we focus on the defensive side of the ball. That was cool and all, but now we got to make sure we get this stop. We need one more stop. Our offense is scoring pretty much every time. This time, I do guard that corner, but... I mean, we're running man coverage. We're running two man under. We're going to be giving up underneath stuff like that. Just based on the speed of Waddle and Hill that they'll eventually break past their man if the pass rush does not get there. That time the pass rush forcing a pretty errant throw. And you see what? I'm actually making an adjustment here. We do come out in two man under, but when he motions Sheffield or Sherfield, I'm actually audible into a cover zero. And that seems to be giving him some trouble here. So when he does do that... The strong safety is all of a sudden guarding Sherfield, and I'm checking on to Gusecki. And it's this constant motion here that seems to really have him befuddled on third down. He's just taking too long. He's not realizing that I'm checking out to a, a cover zero. Fourth down, let's see if he's going to make that adjustment. I'm going to do the same thing one more time. Hopefully, we're not going to the well one too many times. And he's just going to get it off to Gusecki, who gets up and is able to get the first down. He hits the old curl route on fourth down, which... Uh, yeah, I wasn't really set up to guard. I was kind of retreating there, hoping the blitz would get in in time. Is uh, That was definitely a depth perception thing because I thought I was making a tackle there. I just want to make a conservative tackle, but just try to lock on. But apparently I locked on to Casper the Ghost back there. I'm still going to do this uh, cover zero thing. I feel like it's working pretty well, but now it's just me that's getting killed a little bit. Gusecki's kind of working me out. So, uh, yeah, we're going to go to zone. We're going to go to zone. Now Now that we're inside the red zone, I don't have to worry about getting beat over the top. We can play a bit more aggressively. Oh, and hopefully make a play. I need one of these dudes to just make a play on the ball one time. One time for the one time, please. I'm not trying to give up this touchdown to tie the game up. Sherfield going in motion. We go to that cover zero. Tua gets it off, and it's caught by Waddle. Jalen Waddle on that slant route. He's doing damage right now. We're going to go back to the zone here. First down. He's going to stay in this empty look with Tua. Stay with this bunch quads look. He's actually going to motion Gusecki this time. You see, we got the middle of the field here with Parsons. I can't really see who's here. Oh, but I can see Tua running right into the end zone for the touchdown. The only guy I actually could keep an eye on. We ultimately did not. But the reason why I couldn't is because I, I just had to be cautious. One, because, you know, you got to be right on somebody to get an interception with a linebackers. Kevontae Turpin is always so dangerous with the ball in his hands. And two, I, I couldn't see anybody back there, man. Like I said, you, you can't, like, we're not playing VR Madden, right? I can't turn my head around or look left and right and see what's going on. I can only look at two with Tunga Vailoa, which apparently was the only job on that play because he ran for a touchdown, ran right by us. So now we got to come up with a clutch touchdown here. I'm going to try to score and get the ball back to this guy if we can. I'll get this guy one more possession. I just got to make sure I score. But we have to kick a game winning field goal with no time left and so be it. Hopefully we get in that position though because it is getting a little bit dicey right now. The clock is winding down. I'm trying to put this guy in a little pressure cooker of a situation. My favorite play just got shut down so I don't really know what to do on offense. Under 30 seconds to go in regulation. Up high. CD Lamb. Oh, that's too easy. That is taking candy from a baby. Single coverage against CD Lamb. There, there's one guy on the Cowboys you don't want to do that to. Guard CD. Single coverage against CD Lamb. Jump ball. See you later. Touchdown. Cowboys. We got the lead. <laughs> I'm messing around. That was not a good play. <laughs> I was, but I was like, you know, I'm just going to throw this one up to CD. I could I could have just clocked that out and kicked the game when he field goal, but like I said, I do want to get this guy back on defense here. Just to add a little bit of drama to the game, but I also want to make sure I got my touchdown. I'm not sure that was the way to do it, but we kind of got away with that one. Now let's see what Tua can do. Oh, man. I'm sure he wants to go downfield. I don't know if it's there or not. You see, I'm backing my DBs up. I got too high safety. I'm not even guarding Gusecki underneath. I'm, I'm trying to guard it like, in case Waddle runs his slant or something like that. Third down and 10. Late rush by Parsons. That's going to be caught in traffic by Jeff. Or, sorry, Cedric Wilson. I thought it was Jeff. It's actually Cedric Wilson that made that catch. Gets to midfield. Puts the Dolphins in hell. Mary range. Or just bomb into one of the speedsters. He goes to Waddle. It's underthrown and nearly caught off the ricochet. But it ends up being an incompletion. And that is going to be the game. So we do get the dub. Uh, that was an interesting challenge. Uh, I don't know. That's the way I really expected it to go. I played 
some guys that ran some weird stuff, but, uh, you know, we, we got it done. We got it done at the end of the day. We like If you guys enjoyed what you guys saw today, subscribe for more Man 23 gameplays. If you guys want to see more challenges, let me know. Until then, I'll catch you guys next time. Thank you, as always, for watching.